Hello YouTube Stereo Restorers. Yes, another Kenwood. A KA2500. I've done quite a few of these. I think this is 11th or 12th in the last few years. They must have been fairly popular. Maybe a little cheaper than a Sansui initially. Um, this is an early unit. Anybody that bought one of these in 67 or 68 would have been pretty much in new territory as far as stereo goes. Component stereo versus a console. Um, here's what's interesting about this one. This is the same two boards, preamp and power amp boards, and heat sink and outputs as the TK66. It's actually the same amp inside. Now, I got this one, bought it as a working unit, um, had been recapped, partially recapped. So these three here, these are the two output caps for the speakers. Their original 1000 microfarad, they've been boosted to 1200, and that's great. And then here's one of the, on the power supply rail, another 1000 that's been boosted to 1200. Nice niche cons, even new clamps, they're not the original clamps. Um, the boards haven't been recapped, and what's a little concerning, original bias pots and center voltage and protection. I'm going to replace those. Um, I hooked it up and checked the bias, and this channel here, the right, had no biasing happening. And the pot, when you touched it, it would jump up and swing around. Um, also, there's something going on with the thermistor here, because it's not... Show, it's showing open, so I'm going to have to play with that a bit. Bias is critical on early solid state, so is power. But when I plug this one in, it had an annoying... Look at that, the sun's actually coming in today. It had a very annoying ground hum. Well, what could be causing that? It's got new caps in it. In fact, where did... Oh, I just pushed them out of the way. It had this Elna replacement for the original can cap, the first cap, the 2200. So this is a 3363 volt and somebody had taken the main ground point and just soldered it onto here. They had lifted the ground point and then this is of course the positive end of the cap. And I thought a new cap can't be the problem. A couple of power resistors I took out. Actually, this was the problem here. Underneath, so basically, power comes off the transformer through these two rectifiers, um, then through this cap here, which I put on. I put a new one, a Miak 3300, on a terminal board and made one single ground point for all the power supply caps. Then it goes to this one here and then it drops through these resistors to this cap. And actually this is what was causing the, the hum. This cap was nearly a short. I'm surprised it didn't blow right out. Um, somebody would have had to unsolder this and then put it back in when they changed the one on the the uh, can cap. I don't know why you wouldn't replace it. Maybe you just didn't have the cap. I don't know. All I know is putting this back together Bringing all the grounds to one point there and changing that one cab. This is now dead silent. Let's get some light on this. Look at how nice and clean it is underneath. Um, should be. So this is what I've done here. So there's the 220 resistor that goes to this cap. And then the bleeder cap on bleeder resistor on there. And then a new 100 microfarad. So the power section's got new resistors in it, um, except for one, this 1000. Got to be honest about this. Um, the output caps are changed, so don't have to worry about that. So I just had to put bias pots and stuff on this board and caps. And I actually just had to point out, it actually sounds really good. And there's, with headphones plugged into it and the volume control down, whisper quiet. And it should be whisper quiet. That's what they were like when they were new. If yours is humming along with Herman, it needs some recapping. Anyway, thanks for watching and listening.